Japs who were, were on the way. And um, so we knew we were going to get attacked that night. They only had enough uh, barbed wire to put one strangle, strand of wire up, and they were going to do that after dark so that uh, the Japanese would know that it was there because they figured the Japanese were probably reconnoitering the other side of the bank. As I recall, there was uh, maybe uh, one or two shots or something like that, and sort of a quiet period and a couple more. But you knew they were over there, and there was a lot of uh, uh, yelling and screaming and swearing against each other. And they got revved up, I guess, from this, and then they'd scream and all band his eye and come pouring over. So we had a 37 millimeter cannon. We uh, had that set up on the point near the sand and uh, where they would come back over the sandbar. And incidentally, we, we were firing grape shot and they had given us 55 rounds to last for the night. So every once in a while when a flare went off and you could see Japanese, we would fire this, this 37 millimeter cannon with a grape shot and uh, you could see them, and when you fired it, all of a sudden, it was all clear. You couldn't see any Japanese, and uh, it wiped them out. The Japanese, when they came across, they came across almost, uh, you, you might say, in a, a group of just crazy uh, banzai charge, screaming and yelling, and, and uh, all the machine guns, what have you, opened up on the Tenaru River. So we had a lot of firepower of crisscrossing, and the Japanese, uh, very few of them even broke through. And uh, near our gun, uh, some of them got as close as 15 or 20 feet away, but the, the riflemen and the machine gunners finished them off before they could take over that cannon because they knew that nothing was going to get across. And it was a pretty lively action. And um, it, it, it just was so constant. And it started uh, late at night, some was around midnight, or one o'clock or something like that, and went on until daylight in the morning. And uh, we looked at the beach in the morning and where our gun was pointed, you could see uh, Japanese bodies had been half buried by the ocean current in the sand. We were the first couple of people to walk down and look, it, so we just walked away. And, and uh, there was no cheering or anything like that following the battle. People felt pretty happy that we uh, uh, won it, but uh, you could look out there and see all these bodies, and uh, it makes you think uh, a little bit how uh, you know how short life can be